How is it more people aren't talking about this show? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top five reasons you should be watching Unreal. You're very lucky that your little stunt got me booyah ratings last season. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was lucky, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the numerous reasons you should be watching the Lifetime series Unreal. You're making a fool of yourself. I am? Yeah. yeah. I'm the one who signed up to a whole house on the telly. Number 5. You don't have to be a fan of dating shows to enjoy it. Madison, we aren't camp counselors. We don't solve problems, okay? We create them, and then we point cameras at them. Unreal is a dramatic, yet very tongue-in-cheek look at the behind-the-scenes mechanisms of a major network reality dating show. As such, one might assume that to enjoy it properly, you'd already have to be a fan of The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, or both. But this is simply not the case. Um, producers just want you to act a little bit more charming on the next take, so we're gonna roll again. Charming? Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Yes, Unreal is about a fictional dating show, but what makes it worthy of your precious TV watching time are its well-written characters and the ability to poke fun at the many cliches and conventions of the reality TV genre. I need a villain with staying power. I like the lawyer. She's got those ice queen cheekbones, so see if you can turn her out. The marks of a superior show are complex characters, strong writing, and a captivating premise. Unreal has all of that, and then some. Number 4. Finally, some female anti-heroes. I'm taking my kingdom back. May the best man win. She usually does. It won't take long for new viewers of the show to realize that the moral compasses of the two protagonists, Quinn and Rachel, are a little skewed. Quinn, the sharp-tongued executive producer who will do anything for higher ratings, is as dastardly as they come, manipulating anyone and everyone to get what she wants. Rachel, while somewhat less unscrupulous, is still a deeply flawed individual who also has little problem playing puppeteer when the mood strikes her. Oh my god, that's great, Madison. Just keep looking at her, okay? She's looking really shocked, okay, Madison? Build sympathy for her and then you're gonna ask her, did you kill him? What this boils down to is a show with a couple of awesome female anti-heroes, somewhat of a rarity in today's TV landscape. And to be honest, it's long overdue. Because um, the show being out of focus is just going to make you guys look like a bunch of incompetent assholes, and nobody's going to blame me. Number three, it has something to say about gender and race. It is not my fault that America's racist, people. Some of the biggest complaints lobbied against modern dating shows are their lack of diversity and their archaic depictions of gender. Unreal doesn't shy away from these issues, instead choosing to confront them head on. But if you were looking for a show that gives a voice to the disenfranchised and always ends with a good guy or girl winning, you'd be wise to look elsewhere. He's black. Yeah, he's the first black no, bat. No, he's not that black, all right? Gary, he's like uh, football black. Unreal knows exactly what kinds of TV tropes and stereotypes it is commenting on, and it isn't about to start brushing them under the rug in the name of decency. The show stays true to the, well, reality of the reality TV programs it is lampooning, but does so in a way that draws attention to their faults. It will be a ratings bonanza. Number 2. Sherry Appleby and Constance Simmer Kill It We have seven and a half hours before sunrise. Can only shoot in hard night and I need a freaking show. While both Sherry Appleby and Constance Simmer have been working steadily for years, they've never had the opportunity to spread their wings quite like this. The rules of Rachel and Quinn appear to have been written specifically for them. Both do a fantastic job on the show, bringing their characters to life and infusing them with emotion and layered nuances that makes Unreal feel, well, real. That joke never gets old. She'll get all emotional and want to leave. They always do. So I say, leave your conscience at the door on this one, okay? Yes. Yeah, you're right. Well, thanks. They have received widespread critical acclaim for their performances, and the fact that the show was picked up for a fourth season in July 2017 is a testament to both their skills and, crucially, their on-screen chemistry. I love you. You know that, right? Number 1. It exposes genre conventions Did you get my Looney Tunes? Uh, Jay is on camera B with Tiffany, one of the wifeys. Oh, she's pretty. Mm -hmm. But can she speak? Let's reiterate a crucial point. Unreal is not going to blow your mind with a utopian depiction of how dating shows should work. 
Instead, it deeply examines and satirizes how dating shows actually work to great comedic and dramatic effect. Damn. Did you tell her to do that? Unreal parodies the reality TV dating genre in a way that makes you ponder. It presents us with tricky situations that actually occur on real shows like The Bachelor and forces us to consider the real-life ramifications of those situations. The show examines those genre conventions from the perspective of both the contestants and the crucial behind-the-scenes personnel who make reality shows happen. Put it all together and it's a whole lot of fun to watch. I mean, for once, I would like to see somebody deserving win. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.